Have you ever thought about moving into the middle of nowhere in order to become a nomad so you can uh, forage for mushrooms and have your own little farm? Because I sure haven't. <laughs> I, oh, okay, let me rephrase that. I have, but I do not want to do that. That's the real statement of the year. Hello, everybody. This is That Manga Dude, and we are back again for another manga pickups video. This is a massive one because a lot, I picked up way more than I expected this month, uh, mostly because... Uh, a lot of stuff happened. I went on vacation at the beginning of May uh, in order to go to Toronto, visit TCAF, see all the really cool sites and everything else you want to see in Toronto. I uh, got to visit a lot of awesome comic book stores and manga stores while I was there, uh, as well as just a bunch of random other things is going on in May. Uh, Barnes & Noble around me was, uh, is moving, so they had a huge sale for all their manga, so I picked up a lot then. Uh, and just It just kept going and going and going. And, and now here we are with this massive pickups, uh, I don't know how many there are. I'm going to have to count at the end of the video uh, or after during editing and stuff. But yeah, it's a lot. It's going to be a lot. This is going to be a big video and I'm really excited to get into it. So yeah, so real quick, actually. So this is now officially June. At least this is when the video is coming out. Obviously, I'm recording this in May. Uh, well, I guess it's not that obvious, but I am recording this in May. So yeah, you're going to expect the big video that everyone has been asking for my top 10 manga of all time and that was my 1000 sub goal of course if you haven't heard already i've hit 1000 subs uh which is super amazing super awesome i actually got 1000 subs while i was in toronto so that's just like super neat um so thank you all for the support it's been absolutely amazing i've been on youtube for like around two years but in in like in retrospect in terms of me being super active it hasn't been uh that long it's only been about a year and some change so really really happy with how much my channel's grown it's been so amazing being able to cultivate this community that i have uh people commenting all the time having a great time uh really enjoy doing these videos so thank you so much for the support and uh yeah i guess onwards to 2k uh, <laughs> but until then we're gonna get into this video let's go let's get ready Woo! Alrighty, as always, we're going to get started with the smaller publishers, the uh, extinct and or gone publishers, or the publishers that I didn't pick up that much from, but there is a lot, there are a lot of publishers, uh, so just get ready, this video is going to be very long, like I mentioned, so first off, I'm going to start with Hideo Azuma's Disappearance Diary uh, from Fanfare and Punetman. Um, yeah, this is just like a, I guess it's like a semi-autobiographical slash autobiographical manga about this dude. Um, it won uh, the grand prize of the 9th Japan Media Arts Festival in 2005. Uh, other than that, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Picked it up for really cheap at a local bookstore. Um, so, gonna be reading this probably sometime soon. Okay, up next, coming in from Starfruit Books, which I have picked up manga from before, but uh, just to give you a little story about this, I'm going to be doing this throughout the entire video, so just be ready for that. But this specific volume I actually picked up from a Toronto comic book store called The Beguiled or The Beguiled, I don't know. I think it's The Beguiled, but amazing comic book store, amazing manga store. It was fantastic. It was super awesome to be there. The staff was super helpful, super nice, super amazing. They were all lovely. Every single one that helped me uh, and my friends, as well as my fiance. Thank you guys so much. Uh, the Beguiled is super cool. Anyways, uh, I managed to pick up Young, Alive, in Love by Daisuke Nishijima. So, um, really excited to pick this up because I, I really like Starfruit books. I haven't like, to be honest, I've only picked up one other volume, but uh, I really do want to pick up more. Uh, I just have a hard time buying digitally or buying online. It's just, uh, I, I just don't like risking uh, books in the mail because USPS and a bunch of other people are notorious for just kind of not caring. Um, so <laughs> I was really happy to find this and in really good condition as well. So really excited to get into this. Okay, coming in from a Blaze manga, this is Blitz. Uh, by uh, Tsukasa Mori, Cedric Biscay, Daitaro Nishihara with Gary Kasparov doing like the kind of the overall uh, overseeing of the series. Yeah, it's a pretty cool one. I read the first volume uh, a while, not a while back, I guess a couple months ago, but um, excited to see that the second volume's out. I, I remember saying that the translation, some of it was kind of weird, some of the print was kind of weird, but honestly, I don't know. I, I was really enjoying it when I was reading it. It's really fun. Um, so I'm excited to get into this volume as well. 
Okay, up next from Denpa, I actually picked up the first volume of Kaiji or Gambling Apocalypse Gaiji. This is volume one by Nobuyuki Fukumoto. I actually picked this up during that Barnes and Noble thing that I was talking about, where uh, Barnes and Noble, lo uh, local to me, is actually moving locations to another city, and basically everything was like I think 30 to 50 percent off. So yeah, I got this giant volume for 50 percent off. So uh, yeah, call it a midway robbery, call it whatever you want. I'm really excited to finally get the first volume. But uh, if I like this, uh, maybe I'll be picking up the rest of the series. Okay, up next, this is from Vertical. I picked up Enclosed Called Fat by uh, Moyoko Ano. This is the mangaka behind. Uh, <sighs> I read, I read it recently, but it, it was a um, insufficient direction. That's what it's called. Uh, it was the uh, semi-autobiographical series about uh, her and uh, her husband, who is Hideaki Anno, who, if you don't know, is a famous director uh, behind uh, the Evangelion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, this is another one of her series. I've never read this, but I believe this like deals with uh, a lot of eating disorders. So yeah, it's going to probably be a really uh, hard read, but uh, very interested to get into it. Up next, once again from Vertical, this is Kyoko uh, Okazaki's Helter Skelter Fashion Unfriendly. So I actually read uh, one of her series last month, or yes, last no, yep, yeah, yes, last month. Uh, it was Pink. And pink was amazing. I really loved it. So I'm really excited to get into this. And, uh, and this was in really good condition. So I was super happy to find it. Um, I don't know much about it. I believe it has something to do with like the fashion industry and how uh, people perceive one another or uh, perceive themselves in terms of beauty. So uh, really interested to see uh, what this one's all about. All right, coming in from Dark Horse, I picked up two volumes from Dark Horse. So first is The Psychopath Volume 1. Super happy to get this. This is by Natsu Osai, Midori Goto. Um, of course, like, I guess the source is Psychopath, the production community. I don't know why it's mentioned there, but interesting. Uh, An original story by Gen Udo Buchi. So yeah, um, I, read I watched the first three episodes of Psychopaths. I thought it was super cool. So um, <laughs> now I'm picking up the manga to decide to see if it's uh, any good or not. I believe this is supposed to be a prequel. Uh, so really excited to get into this. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. And the other one, oh, I was so excited to find this. This is Gunsmith Cat's Misfire, aka this is the volume two of the original or semi, I don't know, the this type of print for Gunsmith Cats. And this is in remarkable condition. The only thing that's really wrong with it is just like very basic wear and tear. But yes, I'm so happy to get this because I have, I've had volume one and I think three and four for a long time. So I'm really happy to get volume two so I can finally continue reading it. Uh, but Gunsmith Cats has been super awesome. I really love that first volume. So uh, hopefully it continues to be just as amazing in the next one. Okay, coming in with Square Enix. I actually picked up three volumes from Square Enix. So first, I picked up uh, The Girl I Like Forgot Her Glasses Volume 3. Talked about the series in the last uh, reading log and really enjoyed it. So super happy to get another one. I do really, really, really wish that these were a little bit bigger because $13 for this tiny volume is kind of unfortunate. But I understand it's like a bunch of things going on especially with printing and uh shipping and all that stuff has just been increasing across the board so i get it uh it's just kind of unfortunate but i do like the series a lot so i had to pick it up coming up next uh, another one that i picked up during the barnes and noble moving sale this is a man and his cat volume one by umi sakurai so uh i've been looking at this one for a long time uh, and i've kind of held off on it because like i just I i've been trying to hold off Clearly, uh, not very well, but trying to hold off on picking up these taller versions, uh, these taller manga. Um, but this one looks super cute, and of course, you know, that 50% off was calling to me, so uh, really happy to get this. It looks super adorable, it looks really goofy. Uh, really excited to get into it. And last but not least, from Square Enix, I picked up the first volume of Yoha, Pearl Harbor Descent Record. This is a Nier Automata manga. Um, looks really good. Original concepts by Yokotaro with art by Megumu Soramichi. Uh, so, yeah, I can't wait to check it out. Looks super cool. All right, from Tokyo Pop, I managed to pick up four volumes. So first, I managed to pick up this little tiny boy called Harlem Beat Volume 1 by Yuriko Nishiyama. It's the same mangaka behind a series called Rebound, aka because it's the same series. Uh, but I believe that this is supposed to be the first part. So this is Harlem Beat. Um, the pages are still in fantastic condition. I mean, obviously, uh, clearly this manga is in very good condition. But um, now I can finally get some context to what the heck's going on in Rebound. Because Rebound just kind of starts in the middle of the series, or what feels like a middle of a series. So uh, we'll definitely be interested in uh, reading this hopefully soon. 
Up next, I didn't think I could ever find this volume because it has been like literally impossible to find at any Barnes & Noble anywhere, uh, and that is our Not So Lonely Planet Travel Guide Volume 3. I've been seeing people pick up this uh, for like the past couple months, and I'm like, where is mine? Where is... where are they? <laughs> I've been really confused as to where Tokyo Pops like prints have been. Uh, it's been really weird trying to find any that are new. Uh, Mommy Coordinate, notwithstanding, holy moly, that took forever to collect because just finding volume three and four felt nearly impossible. But uh, another example, our Not So Lonely Planet Travel Guide. It's been out for like, I think three months now and I just got it. So um, yeah, I wish they were more accessible, but I'm really, really happy to get this because I love this series. It's super fun. And last but not least from Tokyo Pop, I picked up Volumes 2 and 3 of DN Angel by Yuki Sugisaki. I actually, these are my most recent pickups for May. I picked them up two days ago. No, three, two, three, three, three days ago. Um, yeah, I really liked the first volume. I thought it was super fun and I managed to find these in pretty fantastic, uh, like, pretty fantastic condition. So super excited to check this out and uh, yeah, keep reading DN Angel. Okay, and last but not least, this is going to be from TCAF, uh, also known as the Toronto Comic Arts Festival, if you didn't know. Really, really amazing free event that you can go where comic artists from basically around the United States, Canada, and around the world in general uh, come and they show their wares. And we got publishers, we've got creators. It's just, it was super amazing, it was super lovely, it was super awesome. I really, really want to go back. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to go next year, but maybe within the next couple of years I'll be back again. Uh, I guess Toronto was super awesome. But while I was there, I was really, really excited to be able to go to the Glacier Bay Books table and pick up a f quite a few volumes. So, um, yeah, let's start with those. So, <laughs> I managed to pick up, this is Invisible Parade by Mississippi. Uh, really, really pretty cover, and uh, yeah, I don't know much about it. Uh, just looks it looked really cool and people have been talking about it saying it was really good um, So yeah, we'll have to give it a shot soon Okay, uh, this is a smaller one. This is from this flame um, by Omi Konomi It's I believe it's a short story collection at least that's what it says in the back um, Once again, don't know much about this one, but I know it's gonna have fantastic art and it's gonna be cool So yeah, really excited to get into this Another one. Oh, this one. Okay, this has got to be one of the best covers uh, that I picked up especially in May is so gorgeous and that is Red Riding Hood's Wolf Wolf Apprentice Final Testament to the Moon Whew. volume 1 by Sayaka Mori look at this cover it is so gorgeous I mean I I'm gonna try to bring it up and like see it show you the beautiful shine on it obviously it's got the nice gloss it's just wow 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 a big publishers take note this is what you can do you can do this kind of stuff and some of them just just don't. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is an absolutely amazing cover. I don't know much about this one either, but it looks super flipping cool, so I can't wait to get into it. And last but not least, this was uh, suggested by uh, Uchu Shelf, I believe. Um, or Zach from Uchu Shelf. I don't know. <laughs> I follow him on Twitter. Uh, he's a really cool guy. He does some really hilarious TikToks and has some pretty good opinions about manga. So um, yeah, I had to take this suggestion. This is one of his favorite series, according to him. Uh, and that is Children of Mewtown by... Um, wow, I can't read this. Uh, Masumura Su Suhichi. Suhichi. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, um, I don't know anything about this, but I was really, really happy to get this because I know that they're no longer printing it from what I remember. Um, so really, really excited to read this and check it out and see what all the hubbub's about. Okay, let's get into the bigger publishers, aka the publishers I picked up a lot more of. Uh, these are the publishers that are like obviously uh, the ones you'll see at Barnes Noble, the ones you'll see at like all the big place, Books and Million, stuff like that. So uh, really excited, actually. I picked up quite a bit from a lot of these publishers. So first is gonna be Seven Seas, and I managed to pick up Volume Four of Colorless. Uh, this is by Kent. I've talked about the series a lot. I just think it's super amazing. I think the use of color within the volume and in, in the manga and in, in general is super cool. And it's just really cool to see that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know. It just seems really innovative. Maybe it's not, but for me it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really like the first three volumes. So really happy to get this fourth volume and uh, definitely read this soon. Up next, 
Uh, this was picked up during the uh, that moving sale. This is Yakuza Fiance Volume 2 um, by Asuka Konishi. I talked about the first volume. And I just said that I was like interested, but not necessarily my favorite. So uh, definitely see how I feel about this one. Uh, but yeah, this one's kind of weird, kind of crazy um, about this girl who basically is forced to get married into this Yakuza family in order to avoid bad blood. Uh, and he's crazy, and she goes kind of she's kind of wild. So. Uh, yeah, it's some crazy stuff. It's really weird. It's out there, but um, yeah, a lot of people really like it So hopefully I start to like it more as we keep reading Okay up next this is what that a lot of people were hyped up about this is last game volume one by Shinobu Amano uh, I don't know anything about this I just know that it's a shoujo series and people were like holy crap I can't believe seven seas is picking it up. So um, hopefully it's good <laughs> That's all I can say all right, up next, uh, I picked up My Wandering Warrior Existence by Nagata Kabi. This is the last one that I need to pick up uh, until obviously the new one comes out. I don't know when that's coming out yet, but I believe it's coming out soon. But yeah, really excited to get this. I really like Nagata Kabi's work. Uh, if you don't know who the artist is or the, the mangaka, she is the same person who did my lesbian experience with loneliness, my solo exchange diary, and my, uh, the orange one. Um, <laughs> I don't remember what the orange one's called, but that one's about her uh, her story of having to go to the hospital because of her alcoholism. Uh, alcoholism. So, uh, yeah, uh, she has lived quite the crazy life, but I really, really enjoy how she writes. Um, she doesn't really want people pitying her. She's just kind of telling her story, showing like the struggles that she has had to deal with uh, throughout her life, uh, and kind of showing like why she is the way she is. So, uh, really excited to see what this one's all about. Um, oh, it's right there. <laughs> My alcoholic escape from reality. It's it's on the cover. I'm a goof. Uh, anyways, this is yeah. This is oh, this is the newest one um, that we have in English. So really excited to get into this one next. All right, up next, Soloist in a Cage, Volume One by Shiro Moria. Um, I don't know anything about this. I I read the back. Uh, I really like this release. It's super heavy. Um, you can't tell obviously, but yeah, this is supposed to be really good according to a uh, few people I've seen. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how good it is, uh, when I get into it. Up next, okay, this is probably the most hyped that everyone I've seen on Twitter in general. People were super excited for this, and, uh, I kind of am too. I don't know how to feel about it, because I haven't read it yet, but everyone keeps saying it is fantastic, it's lovely, it's wonderful, it keeps winning awards and stuff like that, and that is Don't Call It Mystery Volumes 1 and 2 by Yumi Tamura. So, uh, if you haven't seen this, <laughs> and I'd be surprised if you have not, because, man, it is everywhere. Um, yeah, I believe this is supposed to be about, like, a detective who's, like, super smart, um, and that's all I can tell you. But it looks really great. I mean, the art, just the cover alone looks really good. Uh, I'm really excited to get into it and see what all the hubbub is about. Okay, last but not least from Seven Seas, I actually picked this up from a place called BMV, which is a uh, book music video or book music videos. I think is what the the uh, the the name of the story is. I don't know why I was having a hard time saying that. <laughs> um, but this is uh, another store that I went to in Toronto. They're like a mini chain. I believe there's three of them in Toronto. So uh, this is from their flagship store, which I believe was off of. It wasn't off of Bloor. Anyways, it was a big one. It had three floors. It was flipping crazy. I was, like, kind of gobsmacked. Uh, their manga section was gigantic, too, so that was super cool to see. But anyways, uh, I picked up Voiceful by Naoko. Um, yeah, I just picked this up because I was like, whoa, this looks like a really old Seven Seas release. Um, and I think it is, but uh, it's just really cool. Uh, one of my friends said she read it a long time ago, doesn't remember much about it, and but she said she liked it. So, um, yeah, hopefully she's right because it uh, looks good. Okay, going into Kadansha, we have a lot as well. So, Battle Angel Alita Volume 3, finally I picked this up. Uh, took a long time, mostly because I've been trying to find it not absolutely destroyed and mangled. Uh, it has proven to be very difficult, and as you can see, this one's not perfect either. It's got little, like, mess-ups on the front. Uh, but honestly, considering some of the other stuff I've seen for this volume, uh, I'm just glad to have it eventually. So, uh, yeah, really excited to get into this because I really liked the series when I was reading it. Okay, it's one that I've been hyped up for a long time. I got super excited when they announced that they were printing it, and here it is in my hands. I've already read it. I've talked about it in the FBI, and that is Shaman King Flowers, Volume 1 by Hiroki Take. So, yeah, really excited to have this in print in English, because I actually have the entire series in Japanese. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Go check out the FBI if you want my full opinions on it. 
All right, up next, I haven't opened this one, but this was also picked up during that Barnes & Noble move sale, and that is No Longer Human, complete edition, uh, based on the novel by Osamu Dazai, uh, by Usamaru Furuya, who is the same manga behind a series that I really enjoy, Gigaku Picasso, and another one that I don't know if I do enjoy, which is Lychee Light Club. Um, yeah, I've heard this is really depressing, really, really dark, um, and yeah, I'm kind of interested to see what everyone's been talking about, because uh, there's a... Uh, what's his name? Um... <laughs> I can't say his name on here because it's a, a little bit vulgar, but he's a huge fan of this, so really, really excited to see what uh, why he likes it so much. Um, can't wait. Okay, up next, Welcome to Demon School, Iramakun by Osamu Nishi. This is a series that people have been talking about forever. Uh, people say that the anime is fantastic, that the manga is great, uh, and they're really excited to when it came out. Slime Prime, I know, is a big fan of this, and uh, yeah, I can kind of see why. I'll talk more about it in the reading log, um, but if you haven't checked out the FBI, I've talked about it in full there. Um, yeah, but cool to have it in print. Uh, can't wait to collect this super long series, I guess. <laughs> Okay, up next, I picked up Volume 3 of Run Away With Me Girl uh, by Batan. Wow, 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 wow. I will talk about this more in the reading log. I've talked about it on Twitter already, but um, yeah, this is a, it's a, let's just say it's real good. Um, <laughs> but uh, absolutely gorgeous cover as always, and um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about it for now. All right, up next, I picked up the newest volume of Blue Period. This is volume 13. Volume 12 left off on a really bad cliffhanger, and I have been dying to see what the heck is going to happen next. But uh, yeah, have it in my hands. Going to be reading it soon. And last but not least from Kadansha, I picked up the last volume of Again by Mitsuru uh, Kubo. It's really cool to have this. Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious as to how the series ends, mostly because I know that it was cut short in a way. Uh, so I'm wondering how they're going to wrap everything up because it seems like there is a lot to go. But uh, yeah, I have the last volume here. Okay, coming into the last part for this section. We have the Yen Press stuff. So I have quite a few Yen Press things um, as well, of course. So first up, I got Hero Tales Volume 2 by Hiromu Arakawa. Stories by Huang Jin Zhao. Scenario by Ryo Yashiro. And Art Configuration by Kusanagi. So another Hiromu Arakawa work. Uh, this time it is a uh, pretty old Yen Press volume. Um, but it's in really good condition, if you couldn't tell. So uh, yeah, excited to get into this one. See what it's all about. All right, next, a volume two of Honey Lemon Soda by Mayu Murata. So, really liked the first volume. I thought it was great, uh, and I really enjoyed it. Can't wait to get into this one. A uh, really cute shoujo series about this girl who kind of gets picked on, bullied in her entire like junior high career. So, her high school uh, career, she's trying to kind of turn it around and uh, make it better. And she meets this guy here on the front uh, who she says reminds of Honey Lemon Soda. Um, as the name suggests, and yeah, it's uh, really cute, it's really fun, and I can't wait to get into it. Okay, up next, I picked up Mier Mieru Kochan. Uh, this is by Tomoki Izumi. I know this is supposed to be a really creepy thing, so I'm not gonna flip it, uh, but I know this is like, um, yeah, it's supposed to be just a really terrifying, or like, it's supposed to be like a, um, I believe junior high or high schooler who can see ghosts and like yeah all of the imagery is super spooky and super creepy really excited to get into this one as well okay picked up the next volume of Kingdom Hearts 3 this is <laughs> 3 Kingdom Hearts 3 Woo! Uh, volume 2 by Shiro Amano. I love Shiro Amano's work, um, at least especially on the Kingdom Hearts stuff um, so excited to keep reading Kingdom Hearts 3 because uh, yeah I thought the game was good for the most part <laughs> um but yeah really excited to get into this up next i picked up another volume of barakamon this is volume 9 by satsuki yoshino i actually read the first volume in may so i'll be talking about it in the reading log uh but really excited to keep collecting this i'm getting pretty close this is the halfway point so i only have a uh, nine ish more volumes to go up next, Kowloon Generic Romance Volume 3. You know it, Jun Maizuki. I love this series, and I'm really excited to have Volume 3. Uh, can't wait for Volume 4, but uh, yeah, really exciting. I, I missed meeting Jun Maizuki. Uh, she was at TCAF, but she was there uh, to do signings and stuff the day I wasn't going to be there, so it was kind of unfortunate. Bad timing, uh, but you know, I don't, it's fine. Uh, I'm not like super mad about it. I'm just happy that I'm able to read her work in English. So yeah, really cool to have this as well. 
All right. Ooh, excuse me. I need to clear my throat a bit. Uh, Nights with a Cat, Volume Two by Q D U Z. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's just this dude writing about his cat. Uh, that's really cute and kind of weird. Uh, love it. It's fun. It's cute and it's very enjoyable. It's a good time. Up next, I picked up K-On Shuffle Volume One by Kaki Fly. Um, yeah, I haven't read or watched K-On stuff, so this is gonna be interesting. Um, but I really want to try to find that omnibus for the original series and read that first before I start with K-On Shuffle. But it is neat to have. Um, it was in good, it's in good condition, and uh, yeah, I've I've heard great stuff about K-On. Uh, obviously, nothing about Shuffle yet, so we'll see how uh, I feel about it. And last but not least from Yen Press, this is probably my favorite pickup from Yen Press, and that is Emma Volume 1 by Keo Rumori. I am so happy to pick this up. This is from The Big Isle, uh, once again, and <laughs> I had to pick it up. This is one of those ones where I was like, I need to make sure that I can keep this in as good a condition as possible. Like I said, I don't really trust shipping companies, uh, especially with hardcovers, because they, they really just screw it up every time. So really happy to have this, and I am super excited to read this, uh, because I love Keo Rumori's work if you didn't know love a bride story and we'll probably love this as well let's get into it we are going into the final section and that is always going to be viz media <laughs> um but this time honestly i have a pretty split among their like imprints so it's kind of cool to uh go through this so first up it's going to be their uh basically everything that is not the viz signature shoujo beat or shonen jump uh, so this is going to be Flame of Rekka Volume 3 by Nobuyoki Anzai. Really, really excited to get into this. Um, I really like the first volume, so happy to have another volume to continue reading this pretty cool series. And up next, I picked up the third volume of Marionette Generation. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying this, and I'm super happy that I've been able to... Uh, <laughs> access this in really good condition as well um yeah i've been really enjoying it it's been fun it's been weird it's been like kind of out there but uh yeah i love the the fourth wall breakingness of this series and we'll be excited to check this one out as well all right up next this is from viz signature i picked up the first volume of sunny from Taiyo Matsumoto. So really, really happy to have this because, um, yeah, I've been trying to find this in fairly good condition. And this is like, I think the best I'm gonna ever gonna get uh, for the most part. But um, yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about this. Uh, I believe Suki Notes mentioned it and said that she really loved it. Um, so yeah, really excited to uh, check this one out and see what all the hubbub's about. I've been saying that a lot, hubbub. Why am I saying that? Am I like old? Am I like a 50 year old? Whatever. <laughs> uh, another Viz signature. This is Zom 100. Uh, Bucket List of the Dead. This is Volume 7 from Haru Aso and Kotaro Takata. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I picked up a volume for Zom 100, but uh, like I said, it was during that, uh, like I've mentioned before, this is from the moving sale for Barnes & Noble. Happy to get this half off and in fairly good condition, so we'll definitely be checking it out soon. Whew, all right, going into the Shonen Jump. Yeah, Shoujo beat actually beat out Shonen Jump this time around, or, well, you'll see. It's kind of a tie because there's one that is, uh, leans towards the, uh, other stuff. You know what, I'll mention that one right now, actually. So that's gonna be Banana Fish, um, <laughs> volume 16. Really, really close to finishing the series, but yeah, this is technically, like, their, their Shoujo line before Shoujo beat was a thing. Um, so yeah, really, really excited to go and check this out because, man, I love Banana Fish. It's so good. Um, really close to finishing it. I think I only have, uh, three more volumes left to pick up, uh, but I am pretty behind. I think I'm at volume 10 or somewhere around there, so we'll have to keep reading it soon. Okay, now it's Shonen Jump. <laughs> okay, first up, Elusive Samurai Volume 6 by Yusei Matsui. Um, this is the newest volume. Really excited to check it out. And, man, I will continue to say these covers are so gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Can't wait to check it out. All right, up next uh, will be surprising, but this is Bleach Volume 29 uh, from Tite Kubo. Obviously, it is a classic. Everybody kind of knows it or does know it. Um, yeah, uh, I am slowly but surely picking up Bleach Volumes. I picked this one up because it was three bucks and it was one that I didn't have. Um, as you know, or as some might know, I don't actually have all of Bleach and I have collected it out of order because, uh, yeah, it's one of those series where uh, young, a young, a young, 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 that manga dude was like, 
how about you just pick up the Bleach volumes of the stuff you haven't read? So, um, yeah, I only picked up, like, Soul Society. I uh, didn't pick up any of, like, the Eisen arc for the most part because I read most of it when it was coming out in the Shonen Jump magazine. And now I have gaps all over my uh, collection for Bleach. So, uh, yeah, slowly but surely trying to fill it out. And, uh, yeah, excited to get more Bleach. Okay, up next... Twin Star Exorcist Volume 18 and 19 by Yoshiaki Sukeno. Talked about the series like nonstop, constantly. It is such a great series. Um, I'm actually getting pretty close to getting caught up. I think I'm only like eight or nine volumes back now. Uh, so yeah, really excited to uh, keep reading more of this amazing series. Up next, Dark Gathering Volume One from Kenichi Kondo. So this is a new series that I kind of kind of took me by surprise. I didn't even know what this was. Um, it just looked fascinating uh, in a way. Uh, I love this cover. It's really gorgeous. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell with the lighting right now. My lighting is very, 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 very gray. Um, but yeah, I talked about this in the FBI, so go check that out. Uh, see my full opinions. I will obviously be talking about it again in the reading log. Up next, another volume of Ayashimon. So this is volume two by Yuji Kaku. So this series, uh, this volume is actually out early. Um, it's supposed to come out in June. But here I have it early, so I don't have to buy it in June. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I really like this first volume. I thought it was really fun. Uh, I know someone's going to be like, oh, did you know the series got canceled? Yes, I know the series got canceled. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to continue enjoying it as long as I can. Up next, I picked up another volume of Slam Dunk. This is volume 26 with the most absolutely terrifying kid on the front. This kid is trying to eat my soul. Um, <laughs> but once again, getting really close to finishing Slam Dunk. Uh, really excited to have this. Uh, yeah, can't wait. And last but not least, from the Viz Shonen Jump line, this is Thus Spoke Rohan Kishibe, Volume 2 from Hirohiko Araki. Another one that I picked up during that moving sale. Man, I picked up a lot of great stuff, but yeah, I haven't read the first volume yet, but uh, I believe this is supposed to be a spin-off story of a Rohan Kishibe from Part 4 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So yeah, we'll be getting to it when I get to it. Alrighty, getting into Shoujo Beat, I got a lot of Shoujo Beat. Um, first up, I got the first volume of Kiss of the Rose Princess from Aya Shouto. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about this. I haven't seen anybody really talk about it at all. Um, but I read some reviews online. People said it was really great, really good. And it's short and sweet. It's only nine volumes. So, uh, yeah, if I decide, <laughs> if I don't like it as much, at least it's only nine volumes. All right, up next, I picked up the next volume that I needed of my special one by Momo Kokoda. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the, I I wouldn't say I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the first volume quite a bit, so we'll definitely be uh, checking this one out soon because, yeah, the first volume was fun. Good time. All right, up next. This is a series that I have been eating up like crazy. That is Anonymous Noise, Volume 7 through 9 by Ryoko Fukuyama. Uh, yeah, I've talked about this series in my past couple of reading logs, but I've been really, really enjoying it. It has been so much fun. Um, I think the art is... I'm actually really, really falling for the art, even though that was what prevented me from picking it up in the first place uh, when it was first coming out, but really excited to have this and uh, continue to read it. Um, yeah, and uh, can I we just talk about how gorgeous these uh, spines are? Are. like they just look so good on the shelf with these like uh different colors for every volume it's great okay another one that i have been eating up as well and that is kimi ni todoke from me to you volumes four and five Woo! by karuho shina um yeah uh i'm really glad that these are getting reprinted because i have been able to find them uh new <laughs> which is super cool um can't wait to keep reading this series uh i've only read the first two volumes but they have been a great time so excited to get into more of this okay i these are two from uh two from Toronto. These are from the BMV store again. First one is Yume Kira Dream Shop by Aqua Mizuto. Uh, Mizuto, excuse me. Um, I don't know anything about this. It's just got cute girls on it. It's got this weird looking bunny thing on the front and on the spine. Um, yeah, and I believe it's a one shot. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's all I got. <laughs> uh, but cool to have. I don't know, just kind of neat. And last but not least, this is the last volume I'm going to be talking about in this pickups video. That is 
Fall in Love Like a Comic by Chitose Yagami. I've seen this series like five million times at every single bookstore, but it's never been in as good condition as this first volume was. Um, so I had to pick it up uh, because, yeah, it's just who I am. It's what I do. I am that manga dude. It's just my thing. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That was a lot. There was so much manga that I picked up over the month of May. Uh, so thanks for the vacation and the moving sale and the literally everything else. I don't know. It just felt like a really big uh, pickups. I haven't had a pickup like this in ages, but it's uh, it's cool, I guess. But um, yeah, definitely catching up on all the reading. I kind of missed during my vacation in Toronto. I don't like to read very much while I'm on vacation uh, just because I don't want to damage the books while I'm traveling. Uh, but really, really excited with what I got and uh, really excited for June when I decide to uh, try to read as much as possible. But whew, that is going to be it for this video. What did you pick up in May? Uh, really curious, honestly, because like I said, I picked up a, way more than I expected. But um, yeah, May was really awesome. I hope you guys picked up some amazing things as well. Let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested into what you guys are picking up. So maybe I can add it to my collection. I know people have mentioned Ancient, Mag Ma Ancient Magus Bride. And uh, someone just mentioned ID Invaded, uh, so really cool. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can find those. I don't know if I'm like that interested per se, uh, specifically in Ancient Magus Bride, but I'll give it a chance. And ID Invaded looks pretty cool too, so we'll see. Uh, <laughs> but it's kind of hard when I'm reading this much, so we'll definitely see. I am keeping my eyes on them. Please note that yes, um, I, I do take your like not requests but your recommendations to heart it's just that like yeah i just got to find the time and or the money to pick up those volumes especially when i'm very behind especially like magus bride i know the series is pretty far and or over so yeah that one's gonna be fun um but thank you so much for checking this video out you know what to do you can like you can comment you can subscribe those are all amazing things you're just absolutely wonderful if you do that and if you decide not to you watch this video for however long so appreciate it you did it you did the cool thing yay so um that's gonna be it i will see you in the reading log aka the next video uh bye bye